Hello, my friends, and welcome to Spaceborn. This just left early access. Here you see 1.0, version 1.0 right here. This has been early access for a couple of years. It's a game that a lot of us um, in the space gaming community have been very excited about. Uh, can't w uh, I just did all the tutorials. Uh, there are three of them right here. I just did all three of them. And so we're going to start a new game. Uh, we're going to start in the story mode because that's a little bit guided but you can also do sandbox mode as well there are lots of modes here um, and we're going to start on normal oh I don't know question do that one for now we're going to do keyboard and mouse because that's what I'm used to with this game, but apparently it supports a full HOTUS. Apparently. We lost the ships at the wings, but we only have two of our engines still functioning. It seems we'll be dragging in the void for a while. I don't understand where things went wrong. Maybe if we had checked for points of ambush before starting this operation, things would be different. Anyway, what's happened has happened. Now, since it seems we have the time, maybe you could tell me the whole story from the beginning. As you wish. Everything started with Zone X's plan. The mission zone was a mess, so you had to scout the area first. I think this was the tutorial that I just did. <laughs> I didn't know. Was, okay. Oh, fine. I guess we'll do it again. Or I'll do it again. You won't. You haven't seen this. Um, but I'll do it again. <laughs> After the last battle, your ship has suffered a lot of damage. Let's check if all the functions are working. Let's check out ship's maneuvering systems. Good. Now let's try the rear thrust. No problem here. Let's try the thrusters. Oh, right. Yeah, kind of freelancery so far. And there's an up strafe and a down strafe, which I always forget about. Well. Now let's check the loop power. about the turbo engines. Roll them, now roll let's them, roll them. Them. This one also checks out. Let's take a final look at the ship navigation systems. Engines seem stable. Now let's check the energy systems and weapons. Each ship has three weapon slots. Turret, laser, and missile. Each use of the weapon consumes certain amount of energy from the ship. You can follow your energy from the bar on the left. That's that's the simple turret. Now let's try laser weapons. I changed it so it would be the thumb. Which is much easier than hitting the space bar for me. The the laser is devastating, but it's hard to aim. And it's a long cooldown. Since we don't have a target to lock, just firing two missiles to space will suffice. Oh, I guess it didn't count that one. There's one. 
You gotta get a target lock usually before you can like really make use of those though. And I like how there's no ammo, it just uses energy. I dig that. A nice little thing. Weapons are in good condition. That's great. All functions are working perfectly. Now we can focus on our mission. I scan unidentified activity in the zone. Calling in reinforcements now would be unwise. First, we need to clear the way. According to my calculations, there are some ships approaching to that point. They will be caught off guard if you go and wait for them to come out. I see five frigate class ships approaching you. Approaching you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Combat in this game is a lot of fun. You need to be always on the move when fighting against frigate class ships. They can easily shoot still targets. We Enemy detected. Yep, see, laser is devastating. This is a pretty good too. There's no, as far as I know, there's no, um, oh, we can skip the tutorial. No, you guys should see this, I guess. Um, I don't think there's a thing to, um, target the nearest enemy. I don't think. I don't think there is. No, not really. Oh, well, that's fine. Beware. More are coming. It's easy enough to target stuff with the middle the mouse target, button. First, you need to determine which target oh. to focus on. You can do this with middle mouse button. If you can keep the target within your crosshair for a certain time, then you will lock on your target. Enemy detected. So I kind of grazed that thing with my, um... I think I grazed that guy with my laser. Yeah. Alright, that's better. These will a bit tougher. You will need to use all that you got. Yeah, I don't know what any of those abilities actually do at the moment. Enemy detected. Let's hit two and then let's hit three. you are here. A large group is heading your way. Be ready. You are surrounded. Only way I'm getting out of here is using the shock perk of your ship. Okay. Did I use it? I guess I did, because... You've chosen your ship wisely. If you picked up another ship for the <sighs> mission, it could be much harder getting out of here. Great. I think this area is clear now. I see undefined activity in the junkyard. We'd better check that area before we call our ships. Zone with flies. Yeah, I know what those are. These ships have high maneuverability. 
it is not possible to get away from these ships as they are light and fast. That's why, it is very important to be able to move horizontally to fight the fly type ships. If you stay in the same spot for too long they will inflict high damage. Okay. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. I like the explosions. Oh, hello. Yep, lasers are great. It's done. We can call our ships now. I've marked the most suitable war point. Once in the open, you can call your ships. Oof. Yeah, this is a tutorial, but when the game opens up, it's pretty impressive. The developer has done so much good work on this game. I am just loving that I'm finally able to play it because I hadn't played it for a while because it's you know it was an early access and I I try to avoid games that are in early access for a while because I don't want to burn out on them and you know they go through a lot of changes. Third squad in the mic coordinates. Yes, sir. But I am so. So very thrilled now that I get to play this, finally. Oh, and we have a cockpit view. I never use it, but we have one if you want it. Um, yeah, I never use it. That's the hint thing. Oh. Enemy detected. I do love that laser. Definitely hit. A, it seems you hit a little harder or better when you've lot when you've fully locked onto an enemy. This section's clear. Division, move to sector four and wait for reinforcements. Company, move to zone four. Follow me. Was <sighs> he? We have a new cat in the house because our last one passed away about a week ago. Her name is Lizzie, short for Miss Elizabeth Bennett. And uh, they're both the cats are in here right now. We introduced them to each other yesterday. Wait a minute. Oh. I didn't mean that when I said start over. Tell the whole story from the beginning. From the beginning? All right then. That was a neat little tutorial that they melded into the story of the game. It was kind of neat, I thought. Everything began with the arrival of our guests. First, they spread a disease. Then they attacked.
the prescient, isn't it? Yeah, that's my name. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Commander. <clears throat> Where am I? Who are you? My name is Eve. I'm programmed to help you once you're awake. What about the war? Did we win? Unfortunately, we lost. There were some big battles after you were gone, but the human race lost. You might be the last human alive. Damn it. Why am I alive? How did I come here? They wanted to keep you here until a cure for the HX1Z4 virus was found. But the treatment was never found. So you still have the disease. How much time do I have? It won't be long before the virus reactivates. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. While you were asleep, doors between systems were detected. We need to get out of this system and find you a cure. Where do we go? How long was I asleep? Has it turned out who attacked us? No one else except Please me? Please let me stop you. We will have time to talk about those in the future, but not now. Now we have to focus on getting out of here. First we will put on our pilot armor, then we will get out of here using the ship at the hangar. Alright. It's that green door is the only one I can go through and can't run yet. Alright, no running. Fine. That's an outfit. That's kind of cool. Ah, so I see I'll be now using that I... this ship. Yeah, don't worry. I will guide you through the whole learning process. I guess yeah, now that I've got the suit on I can run. ship which is pretty neat hi again I uploaded myself to the ship from now on I'll always be with you well that's some good news 
I feel so alienated in the situation I'm in. You can mm. power the engines using the engine console. Um, oh, okay, yeah. That's it. Now hold on. Yeah. Very Battlestar Galactica. Very Wing Commander right here, which I'm fine with. I love how those doors barely open soon enough. And there, yeah, there's a cockpit view, but I never use it. But it's nice that there is one. I just never use it. Not sure what that's about. Probably some kind of foreshadowing or something for the story. I guess you have no experience of piloting a ship at all. What? If you'd like, we have a training area close by where we train our new pilots. Um. Yeah, we should do it because you guys Your haven't seen this. Two piloting modes: auto mode, autopilot, and manual mode. While in autopilot mode, you can only control the ship with using the mouse. Our training area is in Neptune's planetary orbit. We can activate the portal we use to get there with the help of the satellite you see in the distance. That's one of the really neat things about this game is the dual control mode. We'll see more about that as we go. But in this mode, it's more like a kind of a real-time strategy game almost where we, you know, click and stuff instead of manually flying. The really commands great. you give in auto mode will be applied automatically. Portal is open. We cannot proceed on autopilot. You need to handle the ship manually. Yeah, so now we have manual mode, which is what you've kind of seen before. I don't know where the HUD is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whee! So here's us again. Hello, game. You're lucky. Ah. You get to see Neptune's most beautiful color. Anyway, let's take care of business. We better start our training with the scanner. You can think of the scanner as kind of system map. However, unlike the map, it is constantly updated. Here you can see the known locations in that system and the coordinates that you updated. Now hit the T key to open up the scanner. It'll be easier to show on that. There's the scanner. What you see is the map of our solar system. This is where you get information about the solar system. This interface is used for manual scanning. We'll come back to that later. Manuel! <laughs> now open your scanner again. Now, set the target by clicking on training area. Then we're gonna warp to it. Warping always puts us in the cockpit mode. Warp drive charging. In three, two, one. Warp started. Warp is used for traveling from one point to another in the same system. You can only use warp starting from a certain distance. You cannot walk to close distances. Here is our mission spot. Neptune sure looks better when you are close, right? Uh, who are they? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't identify these ships, but they don't seem very friendly. We need to clear this area in order to go on with the training. 
I'm adding cleaning up of this area to your mission log. That's... Uh... All the details about the mission you accepted is displayed here. Once you are done, you can close this window. I've marked the mission spot for you. You can take control of the ship and go to the mission zone. There we go. Enemy detected. your first mission successfully now a bit oh. of economics in space you will come across things of value collecting mm. those and selling them off will make you money all right so let's go into ah yes and holding down alt shows loot in the area which is really handy. Um, I don't know why that's not on all the time, but I don't know. Take everything. Very nice. You've gained a lot of experience with your success. Now it's time to put it to good use. Oh. This window shows your expertise. This section shows your specialties. Specialty points distribute automatically according to your play style. I'm interested in that. With each level you get active skill points. You can spend those by clicking the skill atlas button. And right now we can only spend it on this one. But that's okay. I located where the ships are coming in. I think there might be a stargate there. Our way, out of here. I'm uploading that location to your scanner. Okay. And a warp to the scanner. I mean, warp to the, the jump gate, not the scanner. We're gonna warp to the jump charge. stargate. In three, two, I can talk today. Yeah, I can totally talk today. No, our armor's a little damaged. Oh, there it goes. It's self-repairing. Just as I thought. This Stargate will be our way out of this solar system. Stargates allow you to travel between different systems. Jumping to target sector. Thump. Womp. Ooh! Hmm. T1 Narsim solar system. Doesn't ring any bells. There's a space station and a stargate in the system. But the stargate is out of order. Do you have a plan? This station can be a start for your treatment. You don't seem to have any other choice. Okay, we will stop here for this particular, yeah, we're going to stop here for this particular mission, uh, for entry, I mean, and uh, we'll see you for the next one. Uh, see you then.